Welcome back to another episode, guys. I hope you guys are doing well, doing amazing, having a great day. For me, I'm doing all right. It's Friday, it's like one o'clock. I have an awesome video planned for today. I'm meeting a guy named Rob. He's on a mission to meet 10,000 people, not just meet them, but sit down, have a coffee with them, have about an hour conversation, and seriously get to know them, get to know their story, and then he shares it on their Instagram. I'll put it right here, kind of see a few posts. I'll tag it right here, and I'll also link it in the description. So. I uh, messaged him about like a week ago, talked about meeting up because I'm trying to shoot more interesting videos for my Sunday vlog. I know it's Friday, but I'll, I'll be posting this on Sunday once I edit it and have it up and you get what I'm saying. Shot Friday, gonna post it Sunday. So yeah, I'm gonna go out there and meet him now. It's at two o'clock at a cafe in Rittenhouse Square. Like I said, we're in Philadelphia, so I'm gonna grab an Uber. I'm gonna call it like right now. So thank you guys for clicking on this video, for watching it, giving me some of your time. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it's a good one. I'm trying something new and uh, I think it's gonna go well. So let's get it. Jesse? Yeah. What's up, man? I've arrived at the cafe, just waiting on Rob to get here and uh, get this going. Pretty excited. I'm gonna take up too much of our time because yeah. I know you guys are chopping. That's fine. This is Madison, by the nice way. to meet you. Nice to meet Madison, you. how are you? I feel like we're all part of the like Friends Club. That's how, yeah, that's how it works. It's funny, like... find YouTube and it's like something that you dedicate yourself and, and you have so much passion and a lot of people don't know that so whenever you want to tell a story this is the time to do it because it's so easy you got your phone you got you got we, we, we got cameras you know so yeah uh, it's, it's really nice to find something you are feeling passionate about sure you don't need to have like all the gear exactly. it can be in your pocket you can go to a store and just get, get what you need. I started Wait, with my phone. No excuse, phone, right, man? You know, like, and now a lot of people, a lot of people used to tell me, like, you suck. A lot of people used to come and uh, just go do something else. My friends used to tell me I wasn't good enough. And I was like, I'm going to show all these people that I can do it. So it's, it's, uh, it's a good feeling whenever you get a subscriber and they're like, good video, man. That's and, the best. Yeah. Every time they leave a comment, I try to answer and try to have like at least a conversation to get to, to know that person. Yeah. You know, because it, it means a lot to me and, and you know, I, for them to dedicate their, their time to watch my videos, something different, you know? Exactly. Well, that's huge, man. Hey, <laughs> Hi, man. appreciate it. Best nice of luck. Rob and I just finished having lunch together, well, coffee, and uh, we're headed over to the park right now to have a little quieter spot. Gonna, Ask a few questions, let them tell a story. But before that, I'm gonna get a quick picture here. All right. So, what are three expectations that you had going into this project, and then how have those like changed? And with that, you can also kind of say like what your what this mission is right now. So, kind of explain sure. the whole goal, and then yeah, three things and how they've changed. Okay. So, what's up? I'm Rob. I'm currently on a mission to spend one hour one on one with 10,000 different people. I started back in November of 2015 and have met over 2,300 people so far. Um, and so when I started the project, I think my biggest expectation was I would be spending that hour doing with people what made them interesting. But it's kind of just evolved into like sitting down, having coffee, hanging out in a park, um, exchanging my story with the person that I'm meeting. So that's probably the biggest thing. And then I've been doing it for full time for two and a half years now. And I probably thought when I started that it would have been stable and sustainable by this point. Uh, it's not to that point yet, but I haven't run out of money entirely, which is cool. And the money that I did have from my first two jobs has taken me further than I would have expected. So I've been able to push further than I would have thought and have also needed to push further than I thought, which I think is a good lesson in general for anyone wanting to start their own project. Um, well, let's see, th third expectation. I'm not sure if I have a third one. Part of the cool thing about the project is I came in with not too many expectations and have wanted to just let it unfold along the way. So 
Yeah, that's kind of... So maybe to not have a bunch of expectations when you go into something and just kind of take it head on and go with it could be, in yeah. a way, a third expectation on its own. Right. If you think about it, you know? Not yeah. to be so, like, structured with something and make all these, like, rules for yourself when just let it evolve on its own and see where it takes you. Yeah, it's I pretty think cool. I heard somewhere once that oh, happiness is the difference between expectation and reality. Ooh, yeah, we're, I heard that too. It's like some ex-Google... Ex so, something, something, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I totally agree with that, so... That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, now for the second question, I'm gonna ask Rob someone he's met or talked with that has really stuck with him and kind of why. It could be because of their story, who they are as a person. We'll, we'll see what he says. All right, so. So, it's interesting, the girl that we ran into in there. So the guy I met right before her is one of the most memorable. He's a hotel concierge here in Philly. And he was born in, I forget where he was born, but he was raised in the early years of his life in Nigeria. Wow. He's half German, half South African. Okay. But when he was 16 years old, he was living in Romania and came over to New York City to go boating on the Hudson with some friends fell off of the boat, ended up getting run over by it, and his legs got sucked up into the engines. Yeah, so. What? He lost like five or six liters of blood, technically died on the way to the hospital, was brought back to life, given a 12% chance of ever walking again, and a 15% chance of living, and was telling me all of this as we're walking around Philly. And you're just like taking it all in. Yeah. Holy crap. So, his story is just wild. Um, and there's like so much more to it, but that part always sticks out to me. Wow, that's pretty insane. Yeah. I'm gonna ask him the question that I think probably ask everyone. What is like one piece of advice or your advice or what you've learned from your journey giving that you would give to other people who wanna go create something, create more in their lives or like chase their dreams or passion kind of thing? Right. I feel like this is advice that a lot of people give, but there's never a perfect moment to start. And I say that because I've learned so much about how to do my project just by doing it. Yeah. So even if you think of everything, you've probably only thought of 10% of what you actually need to think of That's to true. get to where you want to be. Uh, and for me, it's like, I know I can park five streets away for free for two hours. And that's like a little lesson that I needed to know to be able to come up here meet people in the city and do it without spending a bunch of money on parking every day. Wow. Something I never thought about in the beginning, but those small things will show up along the way in your journeys. That's awesome. Anything else you want to say? For the departure? Meet someone new. There you go, meet yeah. someone new, of course. All right, Rob, thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoyed this meetup. It's been the very first weekend vlog. I'm trying to go out and do something cool. Rob inspired me here. Meet new people, film new things, document, create more. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely more to come and big shout out to you, man. Hey, yes. thanks you, man. and best of luck. Yeah, I'm you. excited to see what you make, man. Okay, so amazing meetup. I'm super excited I got to have that experience. I'm excited to go back and look at all the footage again and put this whole video together for you guys. But it's three o'clock right now. I haven't eaten all day. So I'm gonna go to Shake Shack right now, grab myself a burger. Yeah, I'm excited to put all this together for you guys and share it with you. Super motivated for the year and to get more amazing videos like this. So, off to Shake Shack. I don't know which way to head now. I'm going to meet up with my friend Brett to do some photography to end the day. We're running out of daylight. It's like a five minute walk to meet up with him. Uh, we DM'd each other while I was grabbing lunch there, and also Rob just posted his uh, picture. So I'll throw that right here, and at the end of the day, read the comment, which is pretty awesome. So, five minute walk, meet up with Brett, do some photography, and then uh, probably head back home. How are you? I'm gonna catch you with this quick film before I even say hat. How you doing, man? Nice to meet you, dude. You too, dude. Are you vlogging right now? Yeah, just uh, got to the Endeavor store, which is where I'm meeting Brett at. It's like a fitness store and stuff. And yeah, we're gonna go out and do some uh, photography to end the night. Should be dope. And uh, he's right here. Here's his Instagram. If you wanna check him out, should be sick. All right, so Brett and I are out here right now trying to get some photography on this little ledge here. Uh, with the, the trees, 
skyscrapers in the background. Should be sick. I'll throw up the photos we get and uh, hopefully we get a few ones. We're gonna hit like three locations, maybe get an alley. I'm trying to get some shots of, of the merch. Well, not the merch, just the, the new jacket and stuff. See how it goes. I'm trying to get a shot right now on the steps of me coming up with like the city in the background. Brett's figuring it out. Oh, my bad, you're good, man. Now you're good. No, no, I nice. Oh, what's up? Uh, how long? You... Well, I was only asking because, uh, I mean, I've, I, I started like, uh, I want to say a year ago, but less than a year, however. So, from time to time, whenever I see people do it, I usually go up and ask them. Uh, so much, like, you know, experiences sure. or anything like that. The way you've learned, I mean, I think the way we've all, uh, we all ingest information and knowledge of it, I think it's changed, right? Like, yeah. Years ago, it was like you got to be in a classroom to be able to do something True. for right. a profession. Now it's like you really can. You just got to have the drive, more like the drive, the eye, and you know, okay. and, the, and the will to want to do it. And then you can do it. You don't. You don't have to have any type of degree or you know any type of money to do it. You just got to have the access and you know, the, you know, the will. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. I, I appreciate y'all taking you the time. Off. What was your name? Absolutely, Marcel. Marcel. Nice yeah. to meet you, Marcel. Brett. Brett. Yeah, man. Yeah, Madison. man. Madison. Madison. Brett. Yeah. All right, brother. Take it easy, man. Good luck. All right, guys, I am back now. Took an Uber ride. It was like 20 minutes from where I was in the city. I had a fantastic time today. I'm uh, meeting new people, met three new people, all creative people, all great people. It was just fun. I got to, you know, plan a video, go out and shoot it. Got to go out, have some fun in the street, and do some photography. It was a great day. I thought it was awesome to meet Rob and hear his stories and everyone he's met and just kind of have an idea of what someone else is doing in their life who's passionate about something and who's getting out there and creating something for himself and just living life. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you a bit. This has been another episode of Madison the Guy. My name is Madison, of course, to wherever you are, wherever you are from. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. See you Tuesday. Peace. Right, hopefully I can put the window down, get some shots outside the window of the city, kind of add a little city, city feel to the vlog. Uh, he should be here in like two minutes, so wait on the Uber.